This is someone who meant so much to us and was a guiding hand in our lives in so many ways. A stunned mayor during his daily briefings on coronavirus, now spending time just hours after his former employer, the first African-American mayor of the city of New York, passed away at the age of 93 due to natural causes. He made things happen for this city that he's really never gotten the credit for, including putting us on the pathway to becoming a much safer city with the Safe Streets, Safe City program. That administration is not only where he met his wife, Shirlane McRae, but also developed on the many themes of the Dinkins administration. He really worked constantly to nurture the next generation. And whenever he was around, you felt reassured because he, he was there for all the right reasons. Speaking also at a memorial hosted by Al Sharpton, he, along with his wife and other leaders, were able to share the impact he made on them and the city of New York. I served in this administration first in the City Commission on Human Rights, and then as a speechwriter. He made us smart. We had to dig deep. We had to learn about the history of our city. We had to learn about the communities, the strength, the assets, the obstacles to their hopes and dreams. I wouldn't have met Bill. Kiara and Dante wouldn't have been born. And I'm so grateful that he and Joyce a couple bonded by 66 years of marriage became dear family friends. I will always be grateful to Mayor David Dinkins, a New Yorker who inspired a generation of public servants. This is a man who served with dignity. This was a, a gentle giant who was a warrior who knew how to fight without picking up a gun. That's it. His words were his bullets, and we must learn from that. Everything he did was with grace and dignity and a smile. Even when he got angry, his voice was soft. His wife, who passed away in October at the age of 89, was actively involved in creating programs for children while serving as First Lady. He used that phrase, gorgeous mosaic. That was sort of his signature phrase. Mosaic meant every one of us, every one of our communities, our cultures could shine through. There didn't need to be a contradiction or a conflict. We could all add up to something greater. A memorial will be scheduled by his surviving family once the coronavirus pandemic is over. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.